I want a bowl cup. How do I even start? It's not that deep. I blow dried my hair on Sunday and I cut it. I don't know if you can tell. Sorry, the background's like not the best. I don't know if you can tell but i cut it up here so before my hair was down here and i think a lot of it was me just holding on to the length and like holding on to the idea of the length because like with curly hair like i feel like health of a length health of a length and i would always scream 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 health of a length health of a length but i wasn't practicing it <laughs> okay i'm really excited yeah but i blow dried my hair and i basically like so i i parted out here from here all the way to the back so that the crown of my head was parted off everything else i cut to the exact same length yeah and then at the top i did more of like um like you know when you pull it out and you cut rather than like pulling it down to cut i was pulling it at an angle and cutting it that way and here's my hair like i am pleasantly surprised oh I thought I left a. I did. Oops, sorry. Left a um, hair grip in my hair. At the time, I was really nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I filmed it, but I was just like really nervous and I just wanted to get it over and done with and I just wanted to test this theory out. I'd just been struggling with my hair for quite a long time and I. I already feel like 2,000 times happier with this shape. Like, this is the shape that I, I want, like a little mushroom like you know how everybody gets the bowl cut and they're like no i don't want that i want a bowl cut but like a curly bowl cut in a cute way <laughs> i think another thing with my hair is that i've always felt a little bit self-conscious to actually like wear my natural hair out and right now i i literally feel like the the least self-conscious i've ever felt about my natural hair right this second um Okay. Oh my god, guys, my hair, do you know what it is as well? My hair feels so short because it's not sitting on the back of my neck, but that's actually like it's such a cute shape. There's a little bit of growth that needs to be done. Do you do you know what I mean? Like the kind of shape that I want. Like I literally have a picture of Miss Um Janae Mason. I'll put the picture here. This is like the shape that i want and i know my hair can do it and i think it's just a case of like this top half of my hair really growing and getting to where the bottom half is um i already feel so much happier whoa for years i always thought that my hair couldn't wash and go like i thought that and i've seen some videos recently online and i'm like oh my god no i think i can i think it's just about my method and doing a different method and trying different things trying different products, trying higher quality products, trying lower quality products and just really, really just giving my hair the, the chance to even try. Like, give your hair a chance. I think that's another thing. For a lot of us, we don't even give our hair a chance. We just pack it up and put it in a protective style. We pack it up and throw it in a... I, I'm... Sorry, I lost, I lost my train of thought. We throw it up and put it in a puff or we throw it up and put it in a slick bun and we don't even look at it and feel it and understand like what's going on with it and i think that's where a lot of also confusion comes because it's like what am i supposed to do like how am i supposed to know even me and my sister was like how do i know if my hair is dry it's like yeah i could feel it but how do i know part of what i want to do with my channel is to really just demystify some things um take what i do research online about and i know that it's not you know like scientific validated research but at the same time like i'm when i do research it's um i'm looking at hairdressers and i'm look, listen, looking and listening to hairdressers and people that manage multiple people's hair it's just a learning process um that i'm actually really like right now i'm really excited to do it before i was so disheartened i'm not gonna lie like i used to put my hair well i was putting my hair in just protective style after protective style and in between i would just braid it up or put it in a puff and that was it and i thought i was looking after my hair but i wasn't and like i now now i'm really like really realizing that you know this process is a process for a reason and take my time listen to her listen to hairstylists let me say one more time for dramatic effect 
listen to hairstylists um and we'll get there i made an order on morphe um basically morphe was having a 50 percent off sale and Wumi Bello decided to put it on her story and I said, Wumi, why did you do that? Because now I have to go and buy something. So I did. <laughs> and to be honest, I've also been like, not looking, but I've been wanting some new brushes. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, any older subscribers, any of my first 100 subscribers, which also like, I don't know if I ever said thank you for 100 subscribers. I think I did, but thank you for 100. I've got 131 now. And like every single person that comes, like I always look at their profile and I'm like, hey, like, oh my God, hi, thank you for subscribing. But yeah, like my first 100 subscribers will be noticed, but my favorite makeup tool is brushes. My favorite makeup object anything with makeup is brushes and then foundation um foundation and primer i love i love foundation and primer and everything else but they're like my fav fav favorite especially makeup brushes like makeup brushes is my shit movies is a really great place to get makeup brushes i'm gonna be honest like especially sets i think they do really great sets for a good price um and you get pretty good value for money so i would highly recommend it and you always get like a nice bag as well which is nice you know but i've heard a lot of people talk about this i can set a lip liner and i use i use um chestnut by mac so that's what i'm used to and i just want options um my only worry is that it's like super soft like it's really soft and the mac one has like this like waxy hardness to it uh, that i find like my mac lip liner i'll put it on at the beginning of the night at the end of the night it's still there like it's still there underneath all of the layers of lip gloss and stuff it's still there lining especially my upper lip i really like to like overline just this bit here just to give it a bit more definition um and my mac lip liner will stay so i'm interested to see if this has got the lasting power i will let you guys know okay so i got two two brush sets they're both from the same line i think i did get like a set i'm guessing it was like the old version of this set and this bag already feels like way better my other one's kind of falling apart and it has a little nice little morphe little morphe logo on there which is nice so you get six brushes i think it's a solid set i'm definitely gonna wash these before i use them and this i have brow brush looks pretty nice it's just like a black like a really simple bag but it's just always good to have little stuff like this i just love brushes like i just love trying different ones and giving them all the different chances i love a good foundation brush uh, i love all of them anyway these are the eye kind of brushes that you get um Again, I think they definitely need to be washed. They seem a little bit stiff, just in terms of like, I know they can be softer. And then we got these three face brushes, so a nice powder brush, which I might use this kind of thing for like bronzer. Oh no, I don't like touching my face. Um, This is supposed to be a what? Contour brush. Okay, I was gonna say, because if this is a blush brush, what the heck? And then this is just like a flat foundation brush. But yeah, very happy with my purchases as always. I'm gonna go now because I actually have to work. <laughs> LOL. But bye guys. I hope you like my hair as well. If you like my hair, let me know in the comments. Gas me up a little bit. I need the little bit of help gassing up in the hair, guys. Well, I don't really need help, but it will help, in it? No, no, seriously. Like, if you like it, if you like the haircut, you know. I've been ill. I'm feeling really down and just just feeling it, feeling all of it. And this weekend my body has just told me to like chill. Just my body said stop everything. Stop what you're doing. Stop everything you're doing and just no. Stop it. Stop. So I did. Yesterday I literally slept the whole day. Like the whole day. I've got this little thing in my throat it's like a tickle in my throat that won't go away i keep getting these headaches and i think my body is just telling me like bro chill out today i decided to do a wash and go on my hair i recently i think i spoke about this last 
in the last vlog but i cut my hair like i cut the back of my hair because i just felt like it was just dragging compared to the rest of my hair the rest of my hair I feel like grows a lot slower so i did a wash and go today in the shower i'm just about to finish it off with some foam and i thought i'd come on here and like catch you guys up let's see how it comes out so i've put the aunt jackie's um flaxseed gel and i put a little bit of the while i was in the shower <clears throat> and then i put a little bit of the yo what is it called i don't know if i can know right now the camille rose gel i put that on as well if it works like if this works and lasts and looks good then i will come back and do an actual video on it so i've just done my edges and i know with this method like you're not really supposed to touch your hair when it's wet but i basically want to go through so i put gel on my whole head and now i want to go through and put mousse all over my head i'm at a point with my hair where i just feel like i have no clue what i'm doing like i have absolutely like no clue what i'm doing and i feel like i've been like listening to potentially like all the wrong people i don't want to say that because that sounds really rude because it's not their fault that they're wrong for me but i just think oh how guys <laughs> are you dumb are you dumb i am shook i am shook i can literally run my fingers through my hair this is ridiculous wow i am shook okay yeah okay i'm already feeling better about my hair but yeah basically i was feeling really shit about my hair and i think it's because i've been following these techniques and well i wasn't even following techniques really i was just doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same shit results and wondering why i wasn't happy and like especially now that i'm doing this i'm like well that's why you weren't happy like i was just literally doing like the rock method and that was basically it like that was like the only technique that I was using on my hair trying to do up twist outs with no gel and it not lasting and getting annoyed at myself <laughs> babe there's nothing wrong with listening to youtubers for hair advice but what I have to say is um the technique that I tried today in the shower was like a salon technique more than anything I've been watching a lot of niche beauty and um then i watched their live the other day and i've been watching like a lot of their videos online and not only niche but like this whole 30 day um hair detox thing i don't have all of the products but i have the techniques i can very easily implement the techniques with different products and here we are <laughs> like doing a wash and go on my hair that i never really thought could wash and go so i'm very happy guys like i now i feel like excited about my hair again i'm just gonna go through and continue doing my hair and come back to you guys when it's done okay cool. <laughs> and for me i kind of have this like weird blockage that i feel like is stopping me from creating to my fullest potential one thing that she asked you to do in the book is like really pay attention to what negative thoughts come up when you're writing down these affirmations. Because a lot of times when you when you're trying to affirm something to yourself, you may find there's like this, it's usually like what people would call the ego, but she calls it the sensor in the book. It's like there's this part of you that will be trying to chip away and be like, no, and realize that like these things aren't really true. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these negative, these negative core beliefs that I have, like they're like they exist within me because I, I feel them. Not true. Guys, I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing. Ooh. Okay. 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 Let me show you in better light. Is the lighting better? Yeah, it is. So my hair is not like fully dry definitely not i don't know what i'm doing with the diffuser i'm gonna be completely honest i have absolutely no clue what i'm doing with that diffuser what i do know is we're getting somewhere there's movement right now it looks pretty solid i don't know if you can see like the jump in my hair 
We're just gonna pretend like that's not there. This heat damage is so rude. I'm never shaving in my hair again. Oh my god, I need to stop touching it. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do some other shit. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the movement. Considering how much gel I put in this thing, I'm happy. I'm happy with the movement. I'm ready to like pick it and get some more volume and but the movement. Nobody can deny the movement. Okay. <laughs> This way, but I have to walk the other way. Oh no! Just on my way to the car, I just got my nails done. Um, I'll put a clip here, or I think I put a little montage. No, yeah, I'll put a clip here of my nails. I fucking love them. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. Yeah, he definitely was trying to run me over. Anyway, so look at me with this in my arms. This is so dead. Life has been lifing. Um, my hair is currently not done right now. Like it's not finished. Like my hair is still in progress right now. It looks done. But it's still in progress. <laughs> the way I just I just have to do what I can do. Listen, this is all I can do. I do what I can do. Oh my god, the lighting so much better. Sorry guys, I have to walk this way. Anyway. But yeah, I just have to do what I can do. But yeah, it's been a really chaotic start to the month. Um work's been really busy. Um like actual life's been really busy as well. But I'm preparing for another holiday. You guys probably think I am rich and I'm rich and wealthy and, and abundant and prosperous. Um, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm not. But same time, my bank account is, is screaming at me. But still, either way, enjoyment has to enjoy, you know? You have to enjoy enjoyment. Yeah, I've got another holiday. I'm going to Egypt next week. Oh my God. I can't believe it. I'm going to Egypt. I've never been to Egypt in my life. Never even thought about going to Egypt. I'm going for my boyfriend's birthday. I'm so excited. I've got a lot of preparing to do, as I'm sure you can see with my hair half done like this. Um, I'm gonna walk normally because that was ridiculous. But um, yeah, I am just gonna go back to my car and I'll show you guys a little bit of me finishing my hair and then we'll get back into the vlog. <laughs> Ok 
So I was kind of waiting because I don't know if you, you can probably see that I've got like some little spots and scars and discoloration um, that I've been working on for a really long time. I'm using the Kills. Oh, it's not going to focus, is it? But this is the Kills um, lip balm in Mango. But basically, well, every time I go on holiday, my skin really clears up. It gets so nice. I've got like a really nice, you can't see my tan lines. So it looks like I don't have a tan, but I do have a tan. I have a really solid, really solid tan. I mean, yeah, I went to Egypt. If I didn't say that already, I went to Egypt. That's where I got this from. I've got a bunch of stuff from Egypt. Oh, there's so much up there. You also got um, a little haul. Not a little haul, it's quite a big haul to be honest, guys. <sighs> Y'all, I spent some money. <laughs> so, I went to Egypt on the 16th of July um, and the lead up to going to Egypt was pretty, as I said, chaotic, hectic, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just had a lot to do and a lot of things to get done in a small amount of time, a lot of goals, a lot of, a lot of things that I just needed to do, wanted to do. So it was also the lead up to my boyfriend's birthday, which is on the 17th of July. Um, and that's why we went to Egypt for his birthday. So yeah, it was just a lot going on. Um, his present didn't, didn't end up coming until after the birthday, but that's a whole other story. But anyway, I'm just using a vitamin C and magnesium facial serum. So um, yeah, I went to Egypt, the best holiday of my life. Like honestly, it had the right balance of, um, of activities and relaxing for me. I could have relaxed a little bit more like i did say to sam like like i could have stayed for 10 days we ended up going for seven days i definitely could have stayed for 10 days like very easily um seven days was still a good amount of time we went to this hotel called the piramisa hotel beach hotel um and it was great all inclusive we did go go kind i always call it go kind um quad biking camel riding um we went snorkeling i attempted scuba diving i was not successful i got all the scuba gear on scuba, scuba gear on and get in the water got this big ass tank on my back this heavy ass weight on my waist i'm panicking because my sister had just sent me a um article about two women that had died scuba diving in the red sea which is where we were so i think like I was already like no 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 but I was like no let me do it let me do it let me do it we get in the water now Sam goes down and like he's practicing his breathing and all that I look I down I look to the right and I see like coral and like fish and all of that I look to the left pitch black dark nothing it's a nothing and it was just like for me someone who's scared of heights someone who's quite an anxious like adventurer <laughs> let, me, let me call myself the anxious adventurer because i just i'm quite anxious about certain things also well, i did try to go down and then i trap there's this thing you have to do you have to like hold your nose and then unlock your ears one of my ears was unlocking the other one wasn't and that was freaking me out like yeah i just didn't do it in the end but either way it was a really good experience more about that in the actual egypt vlog i upload it on the same day so you get two videos in one like all of this traveling that i've been doing has been so amazing but it also means that i i have not like had time to as much time to do like the things that i really want to do like dedicating more time to my youtube channel things like that I, i've been traveling but i've also been living my best life so the the second half of this year is all about like me just really laser focusing and like prioritizing reprioritizing um i was looking at my mood 
primary board my vision board the other day i realized that like i'm about mm, like one third of it has been completed which i'm like wow like really i was surprised i shouldn't be surprised because this is my vision board for the year like these are my goals for the year but i was surprised I'm gonna put my eye serum on this is um kiwi superfood cooling eye serum i got this in like one of my beauty boxes usually just do this like that i put quite a lot of uh, serum on i feel like we've been blessed by the queen beyonce i like it's hard for me to put into words <clears throat> how i feel about renaissance act one <laughs> act one my birthday's next week by the way who knew my birthday's next week friday what and then beyonce dropped her album a week before my birthday crazy it crazy ah! it feels like a birthday present to me like it really does i don't care what anybody says it feels like it's a personal per personal present for me and my birthday my 24th birthday ah, 24 ah. but yeah we also released her album and i have been absolutely loving it and listening to it it's only been out for like a day but i've been listening to it all day <clears throat> but so far what i'm feeling and what i think is drawing me to it is that um like the Kendrick I don't know I just feel I feel like I really understood not only him better but also myself better um from the way he was talking about his life and what's happened to him in his life the people in his life with Beyonce I feel she understands or I'm understanding the energy that I'm currently feeling like I'm that girl moved energy and heated and thick are the ones that stand out to me because i think that i'm really resonating with the energy within those songs it feels very like revitalizing it feels anyway it feels revitalizing it feels energizing it feels um as i said i think i need a little bit of time to really digest how i exactly feel but i just know that i am in love with it and I'm really enjoying experiencing it um and you know Beyonce never disappoints but I just think like as artists and as someone who is creative and like is starting to really not even starting I, I understand the creative process and I can almost see it in her music same with Kendrick and I think that's what I that's what I look for in artists I want to see your creative process within your music not just this end outcome of <laughs> not that not that that <laughs> me i love trap you know don't get it twisted but do you know what i mean like you know sometimes you can really feel that the artist has taken you on this creative journey whereas there's times where you just feel like you're just hearing music i want to hear the journey i want to hear the i want to hear the levels to this like the things that she's doing with her voice what song is it that she she did some sexy runs in plastic off the sofa i think oh the runs oh, the runs were crazy so i'm just gonna use my spf now and i use spf every day um i always kind of have but i used to use spf 15 every day and now i use spf 30 or high every day so this one is spf 45 and it's the k skin spf yeah this is not focusing is it you get the vibes like it's the k skin um i'll glow face lotion in spf 45 always shake this before you use it guys got my good sister Rina to get this from me from um sephora in atlanta i think she was in atlanta because this is not available in the uk maybe it's only available in sephora <laughs> winnie if you could bring it to the uk i would really appreciate it because i love you girl and i love your brother like look at this it has like I think it's got like glow in it because it is kind of like a brownie um like shimmery color but it's nice and thin to the point where it doesn't feel like you, i don't know if you guys have ever tried like a um a glowy primer and it feels like you can't rub it into your skin but with this like 
it's like it goes into my skin do you know what i mean like it doesn't sit on top which i really like and the glow <laughs> do you guys see this love it love it thank you winnie i really want like the whole collection <laughs> And I'm planning on getting the whole collection. Thanks for joining me while I did my skincare. That was actually really fun. I feel like I'm going to do more stuff like this. Um, but basically, for the rest of today, um, I have some packages I want to show you guys. I think I'm going to do it in the other room because this room's really messy. Um, I've been journaling and uh, I love it so much. Like, I feel so good. And I feel like I was getting in my way for a really long time with journaling. And now I kind of understand it more. And I think as well, one thing that I've definitely learned about journaling, meditation, yoga, exercising, anything that you do for yourself, for the feeling of doing it afterwards. Because personally, that's why I do these things is, you know, the benefits that I get from them. Uh you have to get to a point where you want to do it so much that your body just kind of does it if that makes sense like it becomes intuitive it becomes um a desire uh and and it needs to be a desire for you to to do it to, to want to go to the gym to want to pick up this notebook and write in it um for a long time for me especially with journaling it was like the act of writing and the act of me now having to pick up this book and write in it like why why like, i would always like question it or like just not do it because i was getting in my own way and now it's like even if i write a sentence it's better than nothing i feel 20 times better after i've written that one sentence and yeah it's just stop getting in your own way get out of your own way and i think you know that you're getting in your own way when something you, like you keep thinking about it it keeps coming up in your life whether it's personally like you're talking about it or um, someone else is kind of bringing it to your attention and you feel in the moment you're like yeah i'm gonna do that and then when it comes to actually doing it you're like oh, i can't bother it deep it if there's something in your life that you're like, yeah, I'm going to do that, yeah, I'm going to do that, yeah, I'm going to do that, see you, you're getting in your own way. I'm definitely going to show you guys what I got recently. These hauls, um, this is kind of like birthday gifts to myself because the amount of peas that I was sending, when I say peas, I mean peas and Q's, I mean money. Um, it's been a lot, but it's been worth it so i'm not like too mad at myself but i haven't done my budget yet for this month which i'm planning on doing today so yeah we're gonna see how far after i do my budget <laughs> are about to see right now i'm just doing a little haul but basically there's a brand called mimi london and unfortunately they're closing down and i've had my eye on a lot of their stuff for a really long time and i saw they were closing down they're doing 50 percent off everything on the website i will link below and above if it's still there hopefully it is and i just made a big ass order i made a big ass order that's what i have to say and this <gasps> Oh, <laughs> I thought this was something else. I thought this package. Okay, I thought this package was something else. But as you can see, it's flannels. Um, I made a big lap order. Lap is also having a fantastic discount right now. I don't know if this discount is still going to be there by the time this video comes out. But I will link it below anyway. But both these brands are black owned. Both of them give me fantastic dis they haven't given me, but I've received I've I've taken advantage of their fantastic discounts and I'm so excited to try this stuff on. I thought this was gonna be my Noki order, but it's definitely not. But I love this bag. Are you kidding me? Imagine me crap carrying my groceries in this. Are you groceries? Who am I? My shopping. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. Now I don't know what one of all the travelers. One thing I will say about Lap, like first of all, Leone, fantastic, beautiful woman, black woman, here for it. My sister is a fashion designer at Lap, so I kind of saw some of this stuff like come together. Like I remember her creating the pattern for this top and like it's weird because i've seen the the clothes um like all my sister i've seen her like with samples of them and stuff but uh, like now that i've like i'm like buying it it just like like reoccurred to me my sister was part of making this and i'm just so proud of her as always anyway but i'm like extra extra proud of her my sister tech time olive olive hooper if you don't know get to know cypher dot world coming soon cypher world coming soon cypher coming soon it's just like really cool to see it in like in my hands you know <laughs> okay no i'm gonna do the mimi london first because then i'm gonna call my sister and show her what i got from that <laughs> All of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart Yeah Tension Between us just like big defenses You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart Passionate from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my old ways I can't blame you No, no. Passion hit from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my old ways I can't blame you No, no. Thank you. 